Monday and happy February 6, 2023. We welcome you to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Aubrey. And hi, I'm Vector. And we're so happy to have this great opportunity to join you all on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Everyone, check your emails throughout the day. Be informed and do not miss the important inform information, such as early dismissals, items dropped off, office requests, important messages from teachers, etc. Just do it and be responsible. And... Be nice and respectful. Okay, guys, mark your calendars. This week is Celebrate Your School Counselor Week. Make sure to stop in and, and thank your counselor for all the work they do. February 8th is Virtual Teacher Requested Parent Teacher Conferences. Keep up with your work. February 10th is our third quarter interns day. Stay consistently great with your work habits. February 18th is the online scheduling window opens. Nice. Thanks for the helpful info. Celebrating Black History Month. Today, uh, we are featuring the historical contributions of Mary McLeod Bethune. Later with Mr. Harris. Next up, did, did you know? know? Did you know that a World War II soldier's pocket chain saved him from a bullet? What? That's crazy. You could even say it was his life savings. <laughs> Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National School Counseling Week. Let's celebrate Mr. Brenner, Mrs. Souter, and Mrs. Morris for all they do. Yes, National School Counseling Week focuses public attention on the unique contribution of school counselors within the U.S. school systems. National School Counseling Week, sponsored by the ASCA, highlights the tremendous impact school counselors can have in helping students achieve their school success and plan for a career. Tell or send a nice note to Mr. Brenner, Mrs. Souter, and Mrs. Morris, telling them how much you appreciate their hard work and love. Next, Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to everybody celebrating today and over our bonus long weekend. Celebrating today, we have Jonah M, Daniel K, Lily P, and Anne Marie T, as well as staff members, Mr. Winkle and Miss Sanders. Have a wonderful day. We also had Brooke R and Cole P celebrating last Friday for our surprise gas day. Wasn't it nice to have a day to catch up on your special day? We had more who celebrated over the weekend. Mason P, Jiffany J, Ryan P, Allison K, and Jacob S P all celebrated yesterday. Yes, happy, happy birthday to those celebrating today and last weekend. Hope you have a wonderful and had an amazing birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris with important information and our students of the week. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, remember, this week on Wednesday, any 8th grade boy interested in playing soccer at the high school next year, you will have a meeting with the varsity head coach, Coach Whistle, during Flex Bell on Wednesday, February 8th. Please email Mr. Tanaka so that he can share a Google link for you to sign up online. And remember, at this meeting, you'll learn about how the tryouts work, summer workouts, training, that kind of stuff there. All right. Hey, we have a new update from the running club. As previously announced, we we're going to meet until February 24th. But since we've not been able to meet due to weather situations, we're going to start next week's meeting Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Please refer to the running club Google Classroom for any practice updates. Miss Beatty will let you know when the last practice is. Anyone is still able to join running club if you are interested. If you're a current 7th grader interested who might be interested in joining the choir next year, it is never too late to sing. Whoa! The choirs are always looking for new members to join them. If you are a current 7th grader who is not currently in choir this year and would like to sign up in 8th grade, please see Mr. Callahan or Mrs. Stein in room 105. No singing experience required, as Mrs. Stein often proves. Feel free to email either one of them if you have questions. Congratulations to the following wrestlers for competing and placing in the Southwest District Tournament. Corbin Ross and Aiden Dozier placed 8th, and Bryson Hisong 
placed seventh. So that's wrestlers from all over the area. Congratulations, guys. All right, and our Black History Month feature today is civil rights activist and educator Mary McLeod Bethune. Though she was able to body, Mary McLeod Bethune carried a cane because she said it gave her swank. An educator, civil rights leader, and advisor for five U.S. presidents, the First Lady of the Struggle has been synonymous with the black uplift since the early 20th century. She turned her faith, her passion for racial progress, and her organizational and fundraising savvy into the enduring le legacies of Bethune-Cookman University and the National Council for Negro Women. She understood the intersections of education, optics, and politics and was fierce and canny in using them to advance the cause of her people. Bethune have organized black advisors to serve on the Federal Council of Negro Affairs, the story Black Cabinet under President Franklin D. Roosevelt. First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt considered Bethune one of her closest friends. Photos featuring her with the President or First Lady ran prominently in black publications, helping to normalize the notion of black faces in high places. Bethune worked in poll taxes and lynching, and she organized protests against businesses that refused to hire African Americans and demonstrated in support of the Scottsboro Boys. She lobbied for women to join the military. She organized, she wrote, she lectured, and she inspired. So big shout out today to Mary McLeod Bethune. Hey, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. Now it gives me great pleasure to present this week's Students of the Week. These students have all been nominated by their teachers for our PBS values of being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So the first one is, is Isabel Holtje. And Isabel was no nominated by Ms. Mr. Belafan, all right, and for being safe, responsible, a problem solver, and respectful. So she gets a certificate. Thank you. And Chick-fil-A! There you go. Thanks. Thank you, Isabel. All right, our next one is Sarah Shee. Sarah, come on over. She was nominated by Mrs. Zag. You looked first, by the way. And she was nominated for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So congratulations, Sarah. Thank you. You're welcome. And last but not least, Forum, come on over, my man. This is Fora Erdem, and he was also nominated by Mrs. Zang. And again, he was nominated for the PBIS values of being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. There's your certificate. You. So all of our, you're very welcome. All of our, all of our uh, nominees get a certificate and a Chick-fil-A gift card. So hey, hopefully we'll see some of you guys up here as students of the week. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you later. Thank you, Mr. Harris, and congratulations to our students of the week. Over to our men of character and the students of choosing to help others and do the right thing. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy here to do this week's character awards. Hey, uh, last week I was on announcements with Mr. Harris, yep. and we were talking about 8th grade day, and mm -hmm. just kind of wanted to ask you, we, we know 8th grade day is a pretty big deal around here, what is your favorite thing about 8th grade? I, I tell you what, 8th grade, what it, I, I just love that day because uh, you get to just relax with your friends, um, enjoy, if you like to swim, you can swim, if you like to play soccer, softball, tennis, whatever, it's just a day to relax, reflect all the times here at Sycamore Junior High School, and just be with your friends, and uh, you don't have to worry about schoolwork or anything else. So, um, so yes, it's a wonderful day, and um, I'm actually kind of jealous that I never experienced eighth grade day while I was growing up. So, eighth grade is a privilege and, and definitely enjoyable. It's funny that you say that because when I was a student here, we we had eighth grade day yeah, eighth all grade the day. way back. Except eighth grade day was they threw us out in the grass <laughs> and just told us to hang out all day, yeah. and that was it. That was yeah. eighth grade day. So. It was not going to the rec. No, no swimming. No. There, there was, was no, no swimming. swimming. There was no sports with uh, Mr. Jones and Mr. Tanaka and playing soccer. I mean, none, none of that stuff. So, yeah, lots to look forward to. Great day. Great day. Um, I have a character award for Allison Johnston, and it reads, You are very nice and kind and smart, and you always help others, and I'm so happy to be your friend. And, you know, smart, they, uh, that is not something that, you know, some of us are definitely more gifted than, than others, but <clears throat> everything else on here, ev everyone can do. Anyone can be nice, anyone can be kind, anyone can help others. Exactly. Um, so, fantastic job. Um, great job, Allison. So, we have a large one-topping pizza from Papa John's uh, for you. All right, great job, Allison. And I have a Okar Seth, and uh, this person says he's very kind, helpful, and a nice person. 
Even if he's having a bad day, he is willing to help anyone, and he is a great person overall. Fantastic write-up, and as Mr. Stern said, it costs nothing to be kind, helpful, um, be a, uh, just uh, just be a, be kind to people. That's all. You know, pay it forward. Words matter. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, this this week I am I am right here in Jarvis's right. room, and you are. Hey, I'm going to Mr. Jones's room. I'm uh, looking forward to that. That'll be fantastic. Hey, we visit classrooms on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. All right, have a great day. Thanks, Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern, and way to go, to students. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did it take so long for the pirates to learn the alphabet? I don't know. Why? Because they were stuck at sea! <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Stay extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. And have a wonderful day, and go waves and our SJHS counselors!